Okay, I am going to try to install this onto my truck mount as a pump out, as an auto pump out. So I got this at, uh, I believe I could pick this up at Harbor Freight. I don't know, I've had it a while though. Or did I order it in the mail? I think Wayne, I think I ordered it through Northern Tool. But uh, anyway, I was originally going to install this, figure out a way to install it on this. But uh, I don't really use this that often. And I do use my truck mount quite often. So uh, I'm going to try to put this on there today. It's a Wayne 115 volt, 340 gallon per hour pump. So <clears throat> let's see this. Well, I'm not going to really need that. Do hickeys, okay. Is that contact switches? A spare impeller. Okay. Try and do this with one hand. There we go. Yep, that'll sit on the floor, the floor of the van pretty nicely. Run it out with that. So, anyway, that's going to go on this and I think I'll install it I have, I've got all kinds of crud in there today's I'm cleaning my machine is uh, down for maintenance <clears throat> so um, I can install it off that back there. So I'll clean this all up and uh, get it going. So we're going to put a, I got a, already got a switch on the uh, Amtex Dragon for pump out right here. It's already pre-wired. Just got to find the wiring for it. But I think it's a, I don't know, I'll figure it out. It's like 12 volt wiring system. So, and I've got a 110 volt here. I wonder if I can put in a 12 volt relay or I'll just switch it differently, but I'll figure it out. Can't be that hard. Okay. That's the pump I'm using. You can see, it, I don't know if you can see on this uh, camera here, but it is $79 from Northern tool. And uh, hopefully this works for an APO uh, on my truck mount. So I'm going to, uh, put together right now. Got a end cap for the hose once I get on. I got a one-way check valve. So um, all this stuff cost me $27 right here. All, all these little parts here, or 20, I don't know, 20 something. All right. Anyway, uh, so I got a couple little things here. So I'm going to put that in there. This goes into the, uh, I've got an attachment on my tank. And screw that in the side of the, uh, the dump valve, and then I'm going to put the the 90 on. Well, put that on there. Put that into there. This onto there. And then, uh, why did I buy this? Oh, yeah. I'm going to put a filter here if I can find it. I've got it buried around here somewhere. And uh, then in the filter, that goes in the other side of the filter. Check valve goes, which, which way? Okay, check valve goes this way. And then um, I'll put another nipple there, right here. And then I'll put the hose, I'll attach it to the, the pump. And uh, the reason why I put the check valve in, you know, guys online on truck my form a couple guys were saying oh the the water acts as a barrier at the bottom of the tank and uh turn this off all right 
The water works, works as a barrier at the bottom of the tank and you don't have to worry about vacuum, but I'll tell you what, I've opened my dump tank running full throttle, hoping it would just, you know, leak out and it's still sucking water. I, I have a Roots 47 blower in that thing and it's, it's pretty powerful. Um, so I really think a check valve, a one-way valve is necessary. And it's, you know, pretty simple. I mean, it's, it's definitely worth having it. And plus it protects your uh, blower. I mean, I there's been one time I set my, uh, my dump hose in some gravel and I forgot that the valve was closed or was open on the dump tank and I sucked up some gravel and, you know, really worried about getting rocks in my blower. So, you know, still a good idea to have. Anyway, okay, well, I'm going to keep going here. Okay, so um, I've got everything cleaned out here. Well, I got the solids out. Still been a lot of little leaves and stuff, but um, there's my dump handle. And you can see I've got a little plug right there where I can put the APO in behind the seat. So that is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take that out, put a bunch of Teflon tape on all my stuff and start piecing it together. And uh, there's all my chemicals I cleaned out. And Anyway, you don't need to see that stuff. So let's get to work here. Well, okay, I found my um, little inline filter. So I'm happy about that. Uh, it was sitting in my box of spare parts. I originally bought this and this pump to use with uh, the porty here, my Edict porty, because I, I put an auto fill, made that. I keep all the cords and stuff in here, but there's a float in there, just like a, a uh, swamp water, swamp cooler float. Anyway, I was gonna install this on the side as for the pump out get all fancy fancy but uh, never got around to it and I really don't use the portable that much to justify it so I'm just doing the bucket brigade right now but I'll, I'll use this I'll screw that in line there and that'll be my little filter system uh, actually I'll put it before on the inlet whatever direction this thing flows it flows this way so that'll be right here and um, it's pretty easy to get in there and empty out if it clogs up super fast, um, well, shoot, it looks like it should go like that. Anyway, I'll get an adapter, but you get the idea. And uh, so we'll get this thing working properly. Um, and if it fills up too quick, then I'll make something else. Uh, but you know, going in, I shouldn't have too much debris going through the the uh, the dump tank because I use a Devastator filter uh, with one of those five gallon mesh paint strainers and that thing works really good my dump tank uh, stays pretty clean every now and then the little stray uh, dog hair or something will make it through but I you know it's minimal and uh, you should clean the stuff out anyway on your regular maintenance days which go for me about uh, once a year just kidding but it seems like it and I need to do it way more than I do okay hey onward and upward we're gonna pull the plug on the um, this tank here. There's the plug. And pull that puppy out of there. Oh, very important. There you go. Okay. Selfless promotion. Oh man, that's in there tight. I hope I don't bust this. A lot of fun. Ah, that's why I never use plastic pieces ever. I always use metal when I can. Well, oh, that's nice. Yeah. Holy moly. Okay, well, this is gonna be this is gonna be a battle. This is going to be a pain in the butt already. I'm just going to get in there and get it out. 
but you're not going to get to watch that because it's going to be ugly, I can tell already. Okay, I got the plug out. It wasn't pretty. Boy, that sucker was in there tight though. Woo! And uh, I had to get a different point of leverage on it. But anyway, you can go in the garbage. Don't need that anymore. It's going to replace it. Okay, so now let's put it all together. So we got the, uh, the mocked up. Um, the check valve. Got our filter system. So it comes out from the tank. Gets pumped through the filter. Through the check valve. And out to the hose which goes into I don't know wherever it goes to percolates down into the soil all right it's killing you huh okay say hi hi, hi. <laughs> okay got that out of the way now maybe I can film this in peace all right I'm gonna go uh, put it in the truck mount so I've got I got everything screwed in and uh, what I did is, is my dragon has a, uh, you can hear the water going in the tank. I've got my garden hose in there filling up the waste tank. But, uh, so I got it all hooked up, coming off the, the valve there, or right before the valve. Got the, uh, the filter in there in line. Um, got the check valve. Does the pump. And out to the garden hose. Now this is a uh, 100, 110 volt, 115 volt, whatever. They can't make up their mind most time. Anyway, 115 volt. There's garden hose. Uh, uh, Hi, bud. Uh, Hi, puppy. Uh, you are helping me. You stand right there and you're helping. Okay, so anyway, uh, the Dragon has an onboard generator. So... I plugged the pump in. That's the extension cord going to the pump over here. I mean, there's there's a thing here, but that's for that's that's rigged up for 12 volt uh, system, and this is a one one fifteen volt. So I'm just plugging this into the back of the generator there, and that should um, that should run it fine. But right now, I can't I can't fire my my dragon up because I'm waiting for a new exhaust manifold. Um, I pulled the old one off. I'm just kind of in a holding pattern. It always happens when I get busy too. Anyway, so hopefully Hi, the generator should run it. Hi, Hi bud. So anyway, this is going to be the on and off switch for it right here, right next to it. So that this will be plugged in the generator. Right now it's plugged in the wall. Um, plug. So we're going to turn it on for the first time and uh, see how it works. Okay. Put that there. We'll flip the switch here. See that? Can't see it so bright out here. Right. So let's go. Pumping away. Oh, look at that. Woohoo! We've struck oil. Wait, water is natural gas. We struck natural gas. Woohoo! All right. You thirsty? You want to drink some of that waste dump water? All right. All right, let's check out the filter on this side. Are you driving? Yes. Okay. All right. Well, there's the filter. It's not completely clogged up, but I can see. Daddy's filming. Maybe you need to be quiet. I can see that filter will probably fill up, but uh, you know what? Um, it's an auto pump, and it costs me less than $150 to install it. So, look at that. Things working pretty good. <laughs> oh, all right, let's turn it off. Look at that. Yeah, I, I could just play with this all day. 
And this is such a cheap pump, if it burns out, I really don't care. I'll just replace it. I mean, shoot. $2,000 they wanted to, to just buy the pump. And that wasn't including installation, which, you know, I can do myself. But I did this for under 150 So that's, that's not too bad. Well, can't wait to get my manifold on so I can fire it up and see how it works. Uh, under its own power, but I think it's going to be just fine.